So uh, this is the animation tree edit or uh, infinity stat machine edit. Now we uh, we can create a stat. Now we create a, a one state here and it's idle. Okay, then we uh, choose his uh, its uh, animation. We choose idle. Now we set it as current stat, so you can see the see the result in the uh, pre preview window immediately. You can see the character is idle now. Now uh, we have another animation, another state. We we say it's wrong. Okay, so we choose uh, the animation wrong. We set it current. Okay, so let's run that. I'm gonna set it to idle again. So we need the some event to translate uh, the stat from idle to run. So we create a uh, event. We say it's a run event. Okay. Now we connect uh, idle stat to the event and the event to the uh, Wrong stat. So now we can uh, use the uh, menu to trigger the event immediately and uh, see the result right away. So now we uh, trigger the event. You can see it trans translate from idle to to wrong, and uh, uh, we uh, we can add another event. Let's stop wrong event okay so uh, we, we, we said uh, now we connect a uh, run to stop run event and uh, connect stop run event back to idle okay so let's uh, do it again we trigger the event so it's run that now we trigger the stop uh, run event so you will back to the idle Okay, now we need more stat. So we add uh, output here. Then we uh, create another stat. Let, let me see. It's a uh, uh, be hit it stat. Okay, then choose uh, the animation uh, be hit it. Okay, here. Now we create an event. Uh, let's uh, uh, be hit it event. Okay, so uh, we connect uh, this this two, this two, and uh, connect back to the idle stat. So now let's test it. We trigger the be hit it. You see, uh, the character. We'll do it again. You see. The character is beheaded, and you will back to the idle uh, stat immediately because there is no event here. Okay, we need more uh, stat, so we add uh, output again, and now we need uh, uh, stat is uh, pick up, pick up something. Okay, then. Okay, choose the animation. And now we choose pick up animation. Okay, now and we also need the event. So, okay, we connect this one and this one. Okay, we we have another uh, stat. Let's go uh Throw is throw away the, the items. We also need to uh, choose animation. So so here, okay, and uh, we need the event. Let's say throw event. Okay, so we connect this one, this this two, then back to idle. Okay, uh, we can arrange the uh, uh, arrange rows uh, 
blocks. Okay, now we trigger trigger the pickup event, so it will pick up something. But let's what that's not what you want. You want to stay on uh, carry something. So, okay, now we can uh, create one more step here. Is carry 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 item. Okay, then we choose uh, animation. Carry idol. Okay, so you you should translate to carry idol immediately. You see, you can see the result right away on fly. So uh, we do it again. We set to the idle and the trigger the pickup event. So you see, now he's uh, uh, carry something and waiting. Now we uh, use this event to trigger the throw event. Now he will throw something then back to the idle uh, idle stat and uh, you can see some popping uh, when you trigger a pickup event because it's, uh, it will interrupt the current stat immediately so we choose it from here to change it from instant to queue okay let's do it again we trigger it and uh, you can see you will wait and uh, trigger and translate. Now you uh, want to throw, throw, and back to the uh, idle state. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, see you next time. Keep tuned. Bye.